Hello out there, Delaware Shakespeare family. I'm David Stradley, producing artistic director of Delaware Shakespeare, and really happy to be joined today by Zandra Espinoza, who is playing Hamlet for us in our reading this Thursday of Hamlet El Principe de Denmark. Thanks for joining us, Zandra. Definitely. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So uh, before we chat with Zandra, just to remind you out there of some details, um, the reading is this Thursday, May 12th at 6.30 p.m., um, it'll be at the Las Americas Aspira Academy out in Newark. And tickets are pay what you decide. Um, several different options, and you can find those online at delshakes.org. So this is a Spanish-English adaptation of Hamlet um, written by Tara Moses. And I think one of the really interesting things about the adaptation is just when characters switch between languages. So it's it's set in colonized Mexico, although we it's still called Denmark. <laughs> um, and in some ways, Spanish is kind of the language of the place and English is the language that's, that's kind of coming in. Um, now, Hamlet's one of the fascinating characters who switches back and forth between, between the languages. So I'm just curious, as you have been working on the script so far, um, what, what have you discovered about why those switches happen? Well, so definitely it's a big so far. Um, but so far, it definitely seems to indicate something about interiority and exteriority and, and, and just the kind of onness Hamlet has to be as a, as a public figure um, and what that does to trust and intimacy um, in Hamlet's relationships. I think you see that really suffer throughout the play. And, and Spanish does seem to be something that happens uh, from like from the body, like the heart, the gut, the impulses, the I'm talking to my father who may or may not be here because that he's a ghost, you know, just um, privacy maybe is the word, but I think that that really, it, it really feels like the turning inside and the turning outside right. is, is what seems like a consistent pattern. Now, I am in no way, shape, or form any kind of bilingual. Um, uh, what has been, I, I can't imagine the process of, of kind of switching back and forth on the fly in Shakespeare. Uh, so what has been what has been fun and or challenging about navigating those switches? Because I think Hamlet's the character that actually switches the most. That's a great question. I mean, my experience of being a Spanish speaker is being a switcher, you know, that like I, I predominantly speak Spanish with family members. So that often means that we're in either an English speaking environment and I'm with Spanish speakers or I'm in a Spanish speaking environment with English speakers. So there's, there's always been a switch for me with, with Spanish. So I think that in that way, it's what Shakespeare always does to language in my relationship with language, which is just like gives it, it's elevated and it gives it rhythm and it, and it gives it that expansiveness of here are all the places I can put these emotions. Um, so that's been really fun. I think that it's been, it's hard to read. It's very, diff I think that that's the, the third layer that is tripping me up that I'm not, I don't read Spanish often. So when I'm reading an English sentence and then Hamlet switches to Spanish, my pronunciation is like still in English because yeah, my brain like doesn't compute <laughs> that I'm speaking Spanish because I never, I don't tend to read Spanish out loud. So I think that that's been the the biggest challenge where uh, I'm like, I don't know what that word is. It's because it's a Spanish word and I'm saying it like it's <laughs> Got it. Now, from an audience perspective, what, what do you think is exciting about exploring Hamlet in a bilingual adaptation? I mean, I think that, and this has already come up in the rehearsal room, but very much that um, it, it turns a play that I think for a lot of people can feel very static or, and a genre that can feel very static and it makes it very lived and livable and relevant and relatable. Um, I never thought of myself as playing Hamlet until I knew about this bilingual version. And then, and then I was like, oh, wow, yeah, this is great. You know what I mean? So I think that even for myself as an actor who, and I'm someone who, you know, I've had to learn that the material is not always go not, you know, in this day and age often does not resonate with my personal experience, but you know, now it does really, and like really quickly. It changed, it, for me, it has changed the text very quickly and my relationship to the text really quickly. 
Well, we are thrilled you are playing Hamlet on, on Thursday. <laughs> really excited to see it. Um, so thanks for coming and chatting with us today. And again, just some reminders for folks that the, uh, the reading will be this Thursday, May 12th at 6.30 at Las Americas Aspira Academy in Newark, Delaware. And you can get tickets uh, online ahead of time. Pay what you decide tickets at delshakes.org. We will see you on Thursday. Gracias.